significant figure is the digits of the measurement that can be determined accurately plus one that is estimated and is therefore uncertain. It's important to keep up with significant figures because you can only be as accurate as your least accurate measurement. So this is a way of keeping track of how accurate your measurements were throughout a lab. The rules for significant figures, the first one says that all non-zero digits are always significant. So 446 has three significant figures because all of the numbers would count. In the second example, although there's a decimal, all the numbers still count, so that's three significant figures. Zeros are where it becomes a little bit more tricky. It says that zeros at the beginning of numbers are never significant. They're just leading zeros. They are very important. They just don't influence the accuracy of our number. In the first example, that leading zero doesn't count. And we have three significant figures. The next example, it doesn't matter that there's three leading zeros. None of them count. And so that gives me two significant figures. And for the last example, none of the leading zeros count, and you have four significant figures. Zeros between non-zero digits or captive zeros are always significant. So this zero is between the seven and the six, and so it has three significant figures because the zero would count. For the next example, it doesn't matter that there's two zeros between the one and the four. All of them count, giving you six significant figures. And the last example, this zero is captive, as is this one, and these, so all of them count, and you have nine significant figures. This last example is the one that gives people the biggest issues. It says zeros at the end of the numbers or trailing zeros are only significant if there's a decimal point in the number or at the end of the number. So in the first example, there isn't a decimal, so that ending zero does not count. Although it is important, it only has two significant figures. What it's saying is that seven we were for sure of, but the six is the one we guessed on. So maybe it was 770, 760, 750. We're not sure of that second one. It's 700 and something. For the next example, there is a decimal, so that zero does count, giving you three significant figures. So that's 761, 762, 760, 760 something. We guessed on that third digit. In the next example, there's a decimal, so all zeros at the end will count. So that's four significant figures. So that's 760 point something. And finally, the last one's the one that people have the biggest issue with. But remember, zeros at the beginning of numbers are never significant. So these beginning zeros do not count. This zero is captive. And these are at the end, but because there's a decimal, they count. So that's five significant figures. Sometimes we don't measure something, we just count it. So 10 experiments, eight students, six molecules, all of those are exact numbers because they were counted. And so they have an infinite number of significant figures. When you're trying to determine what number has the lowest number of sig figs, you never look at numbers that are exact. Finally, the last rule is for numbers written in scientific notation, you ignore the times 10 and only look at the coefficient. All the numbers in the coefficient should be significant. Do not expand the number out. So ignore the times 10 to the fifth, 
all our numbers count, so that's four significant figures. Again, ignore the times 10 to the negative third, all of them count, so that's six significant figures. We're going to pause the video and try these five on your own. Restart when you think you have an answer. For the first one, you should have gotten three because there's not a decimal. These ending zeros do not count. For the second example, you should have gotten four because leading zeros do not count. Ending do if there's a decimal. For the third one, you should have gotten three. Ignore the times 10. That counts. Four. And there's a decimal. That one's captive. And for the last one, four. Ignore this. And that one's captive. Go ahead and pause the video and try these eight on your own. Restart when you have an answer. The first one, you should have gotten four. There's a decimal, so the ending one counts. For the second one, there's a decimal, and that's captive, so it's fine. For the third one, leading do not count. Ending does, because there's a decimal, so three. Captive, ending decimal four. For number five, ignore the times 10 and you get three. Number six, it doesn't matter that it's negative. There's a decimal, so this one counts. So that's four significant figures. Number six has a comma, not a decimal, so that ending one does not count. Giving you four. These count because they're captive. And number eight, leading do not, ending does count, so that's four. I'm going to pause the video and restart when you have the answer to this one. Ignore the times 10 to the fourth. There's a decimal. All of them count, so that's five. Restart when you have this one. Leading do not count. All the others do. These were captive. And this one, because of the decimal, so that gives us five again.